Okay, we're in Troy, New York now. And I'm driving into a cemetery that I've never been in before. It's a very large and beautiful cemetery. There are some notable graves here, including a Civil War general, I believe. But today we're actually looking for the grave marker for Samuel Wilson, who was a meat packer. Now, during the War of 1812, Samuel Wilson and his brother Ebenezer supplied thousands of barrels of pork and beef to the United States Army. They were filling a contract that the Secretary of War had awarded to a man in New York City by the name of Albert Anderson, Albert spelled with an E. Sam Wilson would stamp the initials of Albert Anderson, E-A, on the barrels, then a dash, and the letters U-S for United States. But there was some confusion over the letters U-S because everyone knew what Sam Wilson's nickname was. Aha. I see what we're looking for. We found it. Now there is some controversy over what I'm about to tell you, and you can research that if you want to, but in 1961, as we look at Samuel's grave. On September 15th, 1961, the 87th United States Congress adopted the following resolution. Resolved by the Senate and House of Representatives that the Congress salutes Sam Wilson of Troy, New York as the progenitor of America's national symbol of Uncle Sam. That's right. Who was Samuel Wilson? He was the original Uncle Sam. Here we see Benjamin, one of Betsy and Samuel Wilson's children. Well, I couldn't resist showing Sam Wilson's grave, Uncle Sam, the original Uncle Sam. Now in my next video, I'm gonna go to another cemetery not too far from here and show another very notable grave. But uh, in the meantime, hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.